All right, so as y'all make your way on, um, by now, hopefully, everyone knows what this is. This is uh, the weekly recap um, that I do each week. Will we come on and share our experience during the week, whether it be through the trades that we took or the training? Or at this point, even live streams, vlogs, whatever, whatever value that you got during the week as a result of anything TA related, this is the place to share. So as you guys make your way on, if you if you actually took trades um, this week, let me know how many trades you took, how many trades you won, how many trades you didn't lose. Um, if you're not taking trades yet, I know some of you are new. Um, you can share your training experience for sure. All right, I got everything. All right, so I got everything out there. I got up two watch parties. And I posted in the group so people will make their way whenever they get here. All right, uh, let me see. All right, so. I think I see Peleus on here also. Peleus was good. Um, JT, three wins, no losses, maximum value, two contracts now. Very good. I had a feeling that you that you got some trades off um, from what you had mentioned the other night on training. I think that was either Wednesday or Thursday where you were talking about um, I think you were talking about stability at the time so I kind of got I kind of I got the feel from that <laughs> that you did get some trades off this week so JT is trading the um, the dollar yen which is actually one of the rare repairs or one of the, um, the the less popular markets that people trade but he got his he got his in this week, so very good. Um, JT, where does that put you for Project Twenty One now? So he's three and zero for the week. Um, I see Adele said you know my answer, so Adele is forever and no. <laughs> yeah, Adele is training. She's three zero one and zero. Um, when Wendell one and zero for the week, very good, Wendell. Very good. And Wendell, where are you within the project? Tyler, what's good? Um, I see Ralston. What's happening, Ralston? Um, Ralston, you have to message me, or I should say message back on Facebook Messenger. I sent you several messages to start your process to get everything set up for you. I think the last thing I was waiting for was for you to accept the um, the group invitation that I sent to you. So check your Facebook Messenger chat with me, the private chat, all right, so I can complete your setup. Um, training on Sunday starts around 9.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So the market will reopen tomorrow at um, 6 p.m. But I typically start training around 9.45 p.m. So that's for training tomorrow. Um, I see Joel in the building. I see Jay is in the building. I see David O in the building. I see Jelani in the building. All right, so um, how did you guys do this week? Did you guys take trades? And if so, how many did you take? How many did you win? How many did you not lose? If you did not take trades, um, let me know how training was for you this week as well. Okay, Ralston. Yep. Um, 
Paleus, how was your trading week? I had zero trades this week. I had I had no trades this week. Yep. Um, this week I I really um trying to think what my focus was really primarily. I think this week I did observe, like I was around just you know waiting, waiting for the market to um to do whatever it was going to do. The the market that I trade the euro dollar, it just didn't give it up this week. Um, I probably could have been around more often, but I chose not to. I was actually getting a lot of sleep this week, so I was getting very good sleep, and I was getting very good training in. <clears throat> so Paleo said he was um O and O for the week, just observing, working on patience. Yes. And I think that that's way more valuable, especially during the week where um, there's just not that much going on as far as trades go. Um, this week happened to be a week like that. There wasn't a lot going on as far as trades. And that's OK. Like, it's all right. The, the market decides and dictates <clears throat> whenever that's going to be the case, the same way that it'll, it'll give off five, six trades in a week. So just as easily as you'll get an abundance of trades in a particular week, there will be weeks where nothing happens. The most important part of that is the fact that you know why you didn't engage in the market and take any trades. That is the most important thing. So very good. Uh, Wendell said was taking that trade in my other account. Okay. Okay, got you. Tyler, best thing to do, Paleus, is starve your hunger instead of feed it. Only feed the hunger for training. The most fulfilling meal. Excellence. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, you you never regret, you know, um, doing more as far as training goes. You never regret that. That pays off tremendously because if you're able to increase your level of patience the dividends for that is just priceless like the, you can't even put a price a price an amount on it development of patience is something that like the majority of people have the most trouble with so to be able to actually work on that and to know that your patience is increasing, it's a lot. Um, Jelani, 0 and 0 for the week, got a chance to do more observing this week, but the market was not in a position to give it up. So as usual, I focus more on training. Right, right, exactly. So I, I, I believe that the consensus overall, like in general, I think for all of the markets, Probably with the exception of the dollar yen, because I actually did see moments in the yen where um, there was stability for an extended period of time. So that's why I'm not surprised that JT ended up taking as many trades as he did. You see, so you like you see how the markets are. Like this week happened to be a, a good um, week for the dollar yen as far as opportunities. Now, coincidentally, the euro didn't have a lot of opportunities this week. Um, and I was around, I was around, like I wasn't around as much as I could have been because I was getting more sleep in, like I said, but for the most part, I was around to, enough to see that there was more things keeping you out of the market than anything this particular week. You know, I'm pretty sure that what's happening with, within the news and everything has a lot to do with it. So definitely, definitely. Um, Tyler says, spend a lot of time working and spending time with my lady, just feeding my mind the fuel it needs to be consistent. Excellent. Excellent. Um, Wendell, Mark, I started Project 21 over. I'm around 11 trades into it. I'm going to finish it this time. <laughs> so Wendell was 11 and 0 for the project. Um, I don't see Jay Carly on here. If, if I don't see her come on, I actually um, share what she asked me to share 
in case she misses it. So I will remember to do that. Jamal, what's happening? Um, Jamal, 3 and 0 this week. He said mostly training. Very good. Um, Joel, 1 and 0. I recorded my MRMH and got a follow through in as well. Right. <clears throat> yeah, Joel trades the Aussie. And I saw the MRMH that he posted, the video. And it clearly was MRMH. And he got 1 and 0 from a follow through trade that came after that. So excellent. Very good. Very good, man. Very good. Very. Im very impressive to see the consistency like just throughout the group very impressive um so jay carly let me let me just make sure that, that i'm right i'm on point with what she told me because i'm not seeing her in here so i'll just tell you what she told me. So she is eight and oh for the project. And she said, oh, no, this week. And the training this week had light bulbs about pure focus when it's time to work, when the market is stable and ranging. So she says she turned she literally turned everything off and, and just focused. So. Powerful stuff, man. Um, I see Daniel. What's happening, Daniel? Um, I see Jay. I see Robo. Robo, what's happening? Um, David said live training was really hard this week. Um, I got a lot out of it, especially no, excuse me, specifically laser beam focused on indicative behavior during the quick glance. Uh, for trades, I was one to know on the Aussie. Excellent, excellent. So, David, you getting you? I, I could I know you getting closer and closer. So, David, where are you now within Project Twenty One? Because I remember you mentioned something to me. Seemed like it might have been either last week or the week before about your progress so far. But but just remind me where are you in the, within the project now. But yeah, this week um, in training, man, that protocol elevation, I think I was focusing on that like all week. Um, we're, we're at a point now where the elevation is crazy. The elevation is remarkable. <clears throat> um, I see Big Wayne. Wayne says, every time I got on the market, it's speed boosting. <laughs> um Wayne, you joined did you join this week? I think you joined you I think you started training this week, right? Um you're very early, so one of the things that I just want to encourage you to do is to do a lot of training. Like you gotta you you gotta you gotta develop 301 as your first nature and what i mean by that is like just think about something that you do every single day like how you wake up in the morning and you go brush your teeth right one of the first things that you do when you wake up you wake up go brush your teeth jump in the shower whatever you do without thinking about it that's how 301 has to be because if if you just get caught up in how the market is and what it does you will lose focus of what you need to be focused on. And I don't want you to do that, especially if you're new, because there's way too much value in learning how to understand the actual process before you try to figure out if the market is giving up a trade or not, if that makes sense. Like one of the things that and, and I and I really focused heavily this week on that in training, reiterating that, because if you get caught up in focusing on. Man, you know, I want to see what MRMH looks like or I want to see a trade, you know what I'm saying? Like if, if you get into that mindset, 
what you're doing is you pushing yourself past the actual protocol for what we do because your mind um, is going to focus on what you focus it on. So you have to be very careful with what you focus your mind on. And I'm talking about your actual conscious intellectual mind. So like whatever you do every day that you're creating as a habit, that's what's going to create the framework for what you do when you observe the market as well. So I want you to focus on creating the right habit out the gate so that you don't get distracted or sidetracked and your focus is on something that is not the most important thing to focus on. You understand what I'm saying? So I just wanted to just make sure that I reiterate that. Yeah, definitely. Um, Tyler said, nice job knowing not to play with the boost. Right, don't don't mess around with that speed. Absolutely. Okay, so Wayne came in on Monday. Um, I think I done watched every video. When you say every video, which videos are you talking about? Tell me, tell me the numbers of the videos you're talking about. Um Tyler said, continue to rewatch critical videos to ingrain to process. 100%. 100%. Paley is, I'm honestly prepping my mind on skill and not money. I don't care if I get one a month. I'm happy with whatever the skill gets me. <laughs> I'm starting to see how valuable a trade you can really see is. Instead of seeing just money all the time. That's hard. <laughs> That's hard right there. He said, I'm happy with whatever the skill gets me. Starting to see how valuable a trade you can really see is. Instead of just seeing money all the time. That's hard. See, that's how you know that that you're really... um. You're really elevating. When certain things start to click. Um, said 301 to date. Oh, 301 every day. Very good. So you right on track, man. You right on track. It's th that, that's all it is. 301 on repeat. 301 on repeat. Um, did you watch 336 and 396 also? If you did not watch those, I, I, I encourage you to watch those two trainings in particular, three, 336 and 396 as well. They actually should have been the first two that you watched before you got to 301. But you know, I don't, I don't know what, what everyone does, even though that's what the instruction is. But I'm just curious to know if you did, if you watched those as well. <laughs> but you're definitely on the right track with 301 on repeat every day. Without a doubt. And that's a light, that's a light bulb right there for, um, for Paleus. That's huge, man. What you just said, that's huge. That, see, like, like realizations like that, they don't come often certain realizations it take a while for you to get to the point where you understand certain things and then when you elevate the elevation is something that's important for us because when you elevate you want to stay at the at the point that you move up to and then keep going up you know what i'm saying like you never want to step back so it's the habit that prevents you from stepping back. You remain in a constant elevated state, which means you just constantly moving up, which means it doesn't matter how long it takes you to move up to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Like it just takes however long it takes. As soon as you get to the point where you're ready to, to go up to the next level, boom, you just go. And then when you move up, you stay there before you go up to the next level. 
You see what I'm saying? Instead of going up and then coming back. So it's never one, st one step forward, two steps back. We n we're never doing that. We ain't even doing one forward, one back. We're doing forward. Next, next. So the elevation just remains continuous because we're creating the right habits in the beginning. That's why 301 is the most important habit to create. All right, Tyler, be safe, man. Yep, enjoy your weekend. You said you watched 301 and everything after already. <laughs> um, explain explain that. <laughs> I'm a little confused. You watched 301 and everything after. Which videos? Um, let me see who else is over here. All right, Matthew's in the building. When I'm on the chart, I'm not thinking about the money or the size of the trade at all. I'm only focused on my execution. By the way, no losses and what up? <laughs> Habit. It's like chain smokers. Torrey, what's good, man? Yeah, so, um, so Wayne, that question was for you, the, the, when, what I was asking about which videos, because you said 301 and everything after. I'm just curious what you meant by that. But, um, yeah, so, like, make no mistake about it. When we talk about, like, execution, ex execution is very, very straightforward. Because it's simple to know the way that you're going to execute, you're gonna execute the same way that you train. Literally the same way that you train is the same way that you're gonna move when it comes time to, to actually start trading. So the habits that you form in the early stages set the stage for the way that you'll execute no matter what. It's like so, so often people will think during my training process, I'm going to do this. Oh, but I'm going to make sure I'm not going to do that when I go live. And it's like, well, if you don't want to do that when you go live, you better not do it now. Does that, does that, does that make sense? Because your subconscious remembers everything. And through your habitual activity, your, tr your, your teaching, not even teaching, your programming, your subconscious to execute that later on too. So just like how you'll do stuff and you do, and you be like, damn, I didn't realize I was doing that. What you're really saying is that you created a habit and didn't realize that the habit was there because you forgot that you created the habit. But your subconscious didn't forget that's what you execute now. Exactly what you was doing throughout your training pro your training time. And and that's another thing too. Training is powerful because it's not like you in a training phase and then you leave the training phase and go into execution. You are in a training phase and within the training phase you're building the habits that become the execution. You see? And while you're in the execution, it it's a loop. So the same thing that you're executing is the same thing that you habitually created in your training process, but you're still training even during execution. 
You understand what I'm saying? So it's not like right, I train and I learn this and now that's what I do all the time. That's what you do all the time. But at the same time, you're still in the, 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 the habit forming process at all times. So you're either increasing the intensity of the habit or you doing something else like creating another habit on the low because of you not focusing on the right habit still. It's just like how somebody can be like, I, I'm not going to I'm not going to do this and this when I start actually, you know, trading with real money. I'm just playing around right now. Mm -mm. That's one of the worst things you can ever do. All that playing around shit. Nah. <laughs> All that playing around shit you can't do just because you in a demo or just because you are training right now. You understand what I'm saying? You got to be so careful in the training and in the beginning phase of your process because it's a constant work that you're doing. So you don't want to create bad habits and then find out that you got a bad habit when you go live. That you ain't even know that you created You see what I'm saying When you go live That's the proof right there Of all the habits that you created Before you went live Cause now all the shit that you're doing live Could be scared money Like, like, like just let, let's just run through the list real quick You might be scared That's a habit that you created You might be Overconfident That's a habit you created Right? You might be afraid of missing something. That's a habit. FOMO is a habit. That's a terrible habit to create. Mind you, you're making all of these habits over here and you're training and in your beginning phase. And then when you go and you shift into execution mode, now you're doing all the shit that you was doing the whole time, including the stuff that you didn't know that you was doing. Which is why I'm very, I'm very intentional when I say to be careful what you do here like like your training should be so repetitive and boring that it's like it's only 301 like like I'm like I'm not even exaggerating I watch other stuff and I watch other videos and all of that but the framework for that is that everything that I watch is reinforcing 301 does that make sense I don't look at another video and then in my mind switch up to what I'm seeing in the other video. Which is easy to do. Like you might look at a tool that we're using like, oh, I like this play by play right here. Oh, I like I like, you know, how he was doing the parameters over here. Oh, I, I like that. Oh, phase three. Yeah. So phase three. All right. Cool. Cool. Now you focusing on phase three. But that's not what 301 is. 301 is MRMH. But you stuck in phase three. So now you you are inadvertently creating a bad habit because you're you're taking one piece that you like and then you focus in your energy on it. So now your execution becomes that bad habit. And now you over here executing it. Next thing you know, you over here doing a bunch of other shit. Like watching mad other videos. That's not 301. Not to say that you can't do that, but. You'll look at other videos because you want to see more examples of trades. Oh, let me see what other videos he had trades in. Let me see some more trades. Let me see your MR. You see what I'm saying? You still looking for trades because you in the phase three frame of mind now, which is a bad habit. And it's crazy how I can even pinpoint this because this is what people do. That's the only way that I know about what I'm saying. People have done it. That's how I know this. So... You got to be very careful the way that you start um, doing things in the beginning because your training habits are becoming your execution. That's what you're going to do. When you go live, you're going to be doing the same shit you was doing in training. So if you still got FOMO in your training, you don't need to be live yet. If you're still anxious, you don't need to be live yet because that's what you're going to do when you go live. So, so that's how it's like a person will ask like, damn, you know, I wonder if I'm ready to go live. Just the fact that you asking means no. 
If you still are asking, I wonder if I'm ready to go live, you're not ready to go live. You're not there yet. And it's okay. Like it's all right to be to, to be in that point, in that position, I should say. So it's okay. Shahar, what's up? Walker, what's up? Um, Walker said, great week of training. Uh, no MMHs, no follow throughs. Just came on. Right. See, and it's okay, though. <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's all right. Um, Jay said, 301 and no this week. Um, I'll be completely transcribing it tomorrow. I'll have my Bible. I've been intentionally slowing down and immersing myself into 301 and the nightly live training. Oh yeah, Jay's doing what um, Rich did. He's actually writing out 301, word for word. Um, TA 301 is a lifestyle. It can't be a fad diet. To be successful, I understand that this has to become a part of who I am. A total transformation Immersion is the key. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, this shit is, this gives me goosebumps. This is what I'm talking about. The right habits. Um, Paley's yeah, the market is like a whole bunch of stories. This skill that we have, we decide to read one story that we understand that a lot of people don't. Because they're trying to read every book. Please stick to one story. It pays dividends. Woo -hoo. Whoa. Yo, Paley is, he got it today. <laughs> he in the abyss. Shit. That, yo, that was hard what he just said. He said the market is like reading a bunch of stories. This skill we have is reading one story. <laughs> Damn He says stick to one story It pays dividends That's hard uh, Matthew said FOMO creates Anxiousness which pushes you to bullshit Come on man Come on It's easy to do It's easy to do That's why you got You better create the right habits In the beginning And this way There's you know There's another Um Part of that Trying to undo bad habits is, is mad work Don't don't put yourself in position To have to undo A bad habit that you created It's such a waste of time Like that shit is a total waste of time But it's going to be something That you'll have to do If you create the bad habit So just don't create the bad habit To begin with Don't do it man It's not worth it um, Shani said, what up, TA? No trades this week. Crust training as usual. Come on, man. Come on. Three hundred one rich in the building. What's up, man? <clears throat> I don't know if you saw the vlog. Um, rich was talking about completing Project Twenty One. Um, I think that was I think that was this week that he completed it at the beginning of this week, or might have been last week. Yeah, but he completed Project 21 in one of his accounts. So, you know, you, if you when you look at how certain people move, like Rich, literally, we call him 301 Rich. Because he's 301 over Pete, for real. Like, that's what he does. He created that habit from the jump. From the very beginning, 301 over Pete. Don't create a bad habit, create a good one, man. That's that's the best habit you can create. Ooh, hold up. Shahara want to know this week, two trades into Project 21. <laughs> the ladies is being they being on the on the low and kind of silent. All right. You're doing your quiet shit, I see. That's hard. Um, Jay, yeah, no, Jay Carly's not here. And yeah, I had already um 
shared what she asked. She asked me to do the same thing. She actually told me something to say that I, I said ultimately. <laughs> JT. <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, she had a very good week of training. And she, I ain't mad at y'all. I ain't mad at y'all. Do just do what you're doing. <laughs> I'm, I'm. It's like it's so ill because I'm kind of used to it now. I'm, I'm used to it. People coming out of nowhere talk about they finished the project. They ten and old for the project. I'm like ten and old. Like where was what what happened? It's the first time I'm hearing about it. But see, it's nothing wrong with that because what that actually um proves is that when you train and you create the right habits, you almost don't even have time to really talk about shit. You know what I'm saying? You too busy moving and doing what you're doing. And Applying everything the way that you should so It's one of those things really where I'm never surprised by the results Just like when somebody tells me that they completed the project. It doesn't surprise me at all a lot of times I'd be more surprised by the fact that they were quiet throughout the whole Like they they, they moved the whole through the whole project and didn't tell me nothing <laughs> Didn't even tell me so I, I do get surprised by that, but that doesn't happen that often, but it has happened. Like at least, at least four people did that to me where they didn't, they didn't tell me nothing the whole time. And then one day was like, I, Hey, I finished Friday 21, by the way. And I was like, okay, <laughs> thanks. Thanks for telling me, <laughs> but I love it though, man. I love it. I love it. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You're right. Adele. You're right. Sometimes you got to move like that. I agree. I agree. Uh, Rich said, oh, we know this week. Spent around an hour overall observing the market with a quick glance. Yeah, Rich, I, I didn't forget about what you what you told me either. I didn't forget about that. I, I'm, I Actually, I might need you to remind me like during the week so that I remember to do it. But I didn't forget about what you mentioned to me. Um, Shahara said, Listen, the ladies of TA is here for the takeover. We moving in silence together. Our bond is strong. I know. <laughs> I know. We caught we caught a glimpse of that yesterday on the live stream when y'all took over the live. <laughs> talk about talk about gotta have a J O B and all of that. <laughs> Ain't nothing going on but the rent and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we caught a glimpse. <laughs> yeah, this is a yo. This shit is amazing stuff, man. This is amazing. Um, Shani said, "TA people move in silence progressively. TA is the unspoken word. Absolutely." Absolutely. Now, I do want to I do want to mention that. See, now some there are some folk that don't say nothing and be losing. Don't do that. Don't do that. Like like this like this particular message is for people that are not doing what they're supposed to do and losing. Don't say nothing and then leave like that's such a like, why would you do that? I really want people to stop doing that. And there's less and less of it going on, thankfully. Like there's a lot less of it going on because people will, they'll wean themselves out like quickly. So you'll kind of see them come in, they'll just be around for a month and then they be gone because they, they didn't do what they were supposed to do from the gate, from out the gate. I've even seen people come back and do it again. Like you came back into training and did the same shit that you did the first time. Came in, didn't follow instructions, didn't engage, didn't do what you're supposed to do, and then you end up leaving again, which is it's just totally retarded. But I'm glad that there's less of it going on, and and people are actually starting now to do more of what they're supposed to be doing and focus 
and they're doing it kind of in silence. And I, I'm with that. If you don't want to talk about it, cool. Just do what you're supposed to do. And don't say shit. Tell me about it later. I don't mind. Do that. But don't be quiet, fucking it up and losing. And then you got, you know, it's like you just wasted your time for nothing. That shit is the dumbest shit ever to me. Just stop doing that. But I am glad that there's less people doing it. So at least that is progress. <laughs> Listen, don't, don't start a Dell in, in Shahara. Cut it out. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, Rich. Yup. Uh, Matthew said, one of the toughest things for me to accept in the beginning was that the number of wins doesn't matter if it's followed by a loss. That's right. Yup. 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 And that's a strong point because... Not doing what you're supposed to do is, is like you, you setting yourself up for the inevitable loss. The inevitable loss is not coming because it's inevitable to lose. The inevitable loss comes because it's inevitable that you'll lose if you don't do what you're supposed to do. Did you hear what I just said? People got it twisted. Oh, well, you you eventually going to lose. No, 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 no. Eventually, you're going to lose because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. We ain't going to lose. Everybody doing what they're supposed to do. They're getting it done, ain't they? You think that's luck? No. So. You see how it becomes more obvious. And it becomes easier and easier to see what happens when you actually do what you're supposed to do. People ain't fucking it up. So if you come along and, and things are not working out for you, it's because you're deviating at some level. There's something that you're not doing that you should be doing. Or you're doing extra shit that you should not be doing. Any way that you try to slice it, there's something that you need to stop. Or there's something that you need to do more of. You need to stop doing everything except doing more of 301. Stop doing all the other shit. 301 will repeat. 301 is the elevation. 301 is the skill set. All of them. The framework. The mind. Alright, sorry about that. Um, Sean, <clears throat> Shawnee said, Mark, you really get a certain insight on human psychology because you see people come into T.A. and for whatever reason can't deal with our energy. Yeah. Yeah. And I, it, it's like I see it very vividly and very clearly and I see it right away. Um, It's a little it's kind of scary to me sometimes because. um, It's almost like. As soon as someone like joins within the first day, I'll kind of know what's going on with them because they tell on themselves right away. Some people are out the gate. I know that they're going to, they, they, it's like, all right, they, they going in, they're doing this period. They're not going to stop. Then others will give off little hints and I'll be just watching. I'm like, Give you about two weeks. And like literally a lot of times I'll be hitting right on the head. I'll be like, I give him about two weeks before he just leave. And two weeks later, you see, you see him leave the group and it's just be like, oh boy. Like, he, like knew that was coming. You know what I mean? So it's like they tell on themselves. And at the same time, you insisting on doing it though. 
You insisting on it because I'll even go as far as picking up on something through what someone is saying or what their energy is. I'll go as far as telling them specifically what I know that they're going to do to leave. I hit it right on the head. I'm like, listen, make sure <laughs> that you don't do this. And it'd be the very thing that they're going to do. Or it could be the very thing that they did already. And they'll like, they'll be like, how'd you know that I, you know, that I was doing that? I'm like, because I just know. Like it, it, it's obvious. If you're not, if you're doing certain things or not doing certain things, I'm going to pick up on it right away. So as soon as you say something, just like, when, just like when somebody comes in the group chat, <clears throat> a person's questions in the group chat lets you know what they're doing. Right? <laughs> Somebody come in the group chat asking about the purple line, you know what they're doing. <laughs> Somebody come in there asking about, you know, parameters, you know, you know what they're doing. You just know. So it's like a it's and, and it's such a group effort to rally behind people to try to get people to move where they need to go. If you come in the group chat and you say anything that we know is going to lead you into the ditch, everybody is going with like with one voice. It's like, yo, 301 on repeat. Like everybody, the whole group be like, yo, you just need more 301 in your life. Yo, you just need to do 301, bro. Oh, but, but, but what about this and that and this and that and that and this? 301, man. It's like, damn. So now the person has a decision to make. You are either going to do 301 on repeat or you're not. And you'll continue your bullshit until you fuck everything up. And we don't know how long that's going to take. But a lot of times I can tell how long it'll take just by what you're saying and, and how you move it. And that's why I'll be like, right, I'll give him about three weeks. And I kid you not, like I joke around with it, like, you know, just with different people in the group, because sometimes we'll. Like we'll be looking, I'll be like, damn, three days. <laughs> like I give her three days, three days, she's gone. And it's like, it's not, you know, it's funny, but it's not funny because I'm like, yo, you, you literally are messing around with your freedom though. Like this, this represents freedom for you, whether you accept that, believe it, know it, or don't know it, it does represent freedom for you. And that's why it's so crazy when people don't see it or if they do see it, they don't respect it enough to take it serious enough to do what they're supposed to do to get to freedom. So that's one of the things that is like, it's, it's, it's like a disappointment more than anything. Cause it's like, yo, come on, man. Like get on the freedom train with us and stay it. Just stay your ass there. What else are you doing? Everything else you're doing is not freedom. It ain't leading you to freedom. So what are we talking about? <laughs> Five dollar more. <laughs> yeah, no way he is. Yeah, no way he is. And then sometimes people just need, you know, it, it just be too much for them at the time. That's another thing that I'm very empathetic towards also. I understand that the time just might not be right for you right now for whatever your reasons are. But I'm like, well, if, if that's the case, don't then don't train right now. Like, don't don't even set yourself up now where you got to start and then leave and then realize after the fact that you weren't ready. Like, that's why I be hoping that I can have a conversation with people before they even start training, because I'll tell you straight up, don't don't start training. You're not ready. I would rather tell you that than to be like, nah, you you know, go ahead and start and see what happens. Nah, fuck. See what happens. Fuck all of that, because freedom is so much bigger than that. 
And it is it is like that to me. It needs to be like that to you because I understand how could it not be? Like why is freedom not bigger than that to you? Where you where you even putting yourself in position to play games with it. You know what I'm saying? This shit is not a game at all. We talking about financial freedom. We talking about time freedom. So if you got a family, you got kids, you got a spouse or whatever, time freedom. How valuable is that to you? You do you enjoy spending time with your family? Or you want to be stuck on a job somewhere? Having to go to work. Like what you want? So you got to like evaluate where things are for you and then you can make your decisions accordingly. But if you don't do that and you don't take the time to do it, what you want me to tell you? But yeah, that's that's a good point though. And Shauna, you right about that, man. I see it all the time. People come in and, the, and it's like the vibe is too much for them or something. And then other people come in and they, they fit right into the vibration and they're not just like on one piece of the vibration because sometimes people get entertained you know they'll be they'll like the energy as far as how the group is and they see the camaraderie and they want to be a part of that like the culture of it but it's like all right cool you but but understand our culture is training though we joke and we laugh and we you know are cool with every with each other but training is first and foremost though all of the shenanigans and everything else that we do is after it's like you play after you work you understand what i'm saying but ain't nobody playing with the work oh i got wait i gotta write that down hold up don't play with the work <laughs> y'all give me one second i gotta write that down don't play with the work. Yo, these niggas be coming out of nowhere, yo. <laughs> Damn. Don't play with the work, man. Shit. I can't forget that one. Don't play with the work. Mm. <laughs> Hard. All right. Um. Matthew said, "Freedom has a high price." but it's not a price you don't already possess. Right. Yep. And you know what too, what's, what's ill about that? It's like freedom has a high price, but you remaining where you are, the price is higher. It's costing you more. It costs less for freedom. <sighs> freedom costs less than that shit. Freedom costs less than your bullshit do. <laughs> Come on, man. Cost. The cost is less. Uh, Rich said, this is training to be stealth, like in our execution, like Marines. You have to do a minimum of 100 push-ups just to make the boot camp. Exactly. Exactly. That's it. Wayne said, can't be money hungry. Yup. See, 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 yeah. Like, you see you see how Wayne is talking? I give you, this, this is a, a good example to use. I'm going to use Wayne as an example. Wayne started training on Monday. So far, just on a recap, I, there's three instances of things that he says that he has said already, excuse me, um, that's given me indication that he's on the right track. And I, and I said this earlier in the recap, like a little while ago. He mentioned 301. He said, I've been watching 301 every day. 
Then he said again, I'm going to just keep watching 301. That's two. Then he just said just now about the money. You can't be money hungry. When you on the path your addiction, the way that you talk, the way that you start thinking, the way that you start to move, it sounds like like the broken record. Like we all start sounding the same. That's how I know where somebody is because they start sounding like T.A. You understand what I'm saying? So some people do that right away. Some people, it takes them time to kind of gradually make their way into it. But eventually, you're going to start sounding like T.A. And that's because T.A. is on the vibe. There's a vibration that we're functioning on. That vibration changes everything about you. Everything. Tyler was saying it a minute ago, how it's a lifestyle. He's right. 100%. And if you don't treat it as such, it, it, it not only is it not going to become that for you, but if you don't treat it like that, you can't ever graduate to where you really are trying to get to and where you want to be. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like the price that you have to pay is that you actually got to put the work in. You can't play around with the work. You, it, you, you're not here to play games. And that's it. You're here to work. Come on, man. That's hard. Rich said your results show in your actions. <laughs> Don't results always speak for themselves? That's how we know. That's why it's so easy for me to, to pinpoint what somebody will end up doing because they tell on themselves through their actions. And that's what it is, man. That's what it is. Yep, this is good. This is good. And TA is so ill now, like at this point, it don't even matter what's what is actually going on. Like it could be a live stream. It could be a recap. Right. Otis, what's up, man? Um, Otis, how'd you do this week in training? And also, if you take um, any trades, let me know. You know, like it could be any one of the things that that's going on and it sounds the same. You can't even differentiate between a Facebook live and a YouTube live. You, you don't know the difference between a recap and a live. The only way that you even know is because I said it on it. I'll be like, oh, this is Facebook live. This is the recap. But when you hear how everyone sounds, everyone sounds like T.A. All, you see what I'm saying? There's a reason for that. That's how that's how the vibe works. <laughs> that's how you know when you're on the vibe, when the things that start to resonate with you is what everybody is always saying. Just like how I said a moment ago, everybody rallies around when someone needs to know what it is that needs to be done. And you'll hear everybody in one voice. 301, bro. Yo, just 301. Don't worry about don't worry about that. Just 301 it. Come on, man. Every, if everybody's telling you 301, you think that maybe you want to do 301? Peer pressure. TA peer pressure. <laughs> Paleo said, your skill is your wealth. Don't fuck that up. Don't do it. Rich said, it's like a blockchain of knowledge. <laughs> What's up, Tracy? Tracy said, I did 301 this morning. How many times you do it, Tracy? Once?
Yo, I, I'm it. It's gonna come like a point where folks will start talking about how many times like they watch 301 and the number will be like three four times in a day like just throughout the group i'm telling y'all man I'm telling y'all uh been in two weeks haven't taken the demo yet just training yeah you moving how you supposed to move she said one a day I'm going to keep tally so far I'm at six. Okay. How many, how many you think I, I how many times you think I watched it today, Tracy? <laughs> we, we, we did this the other day. Let me stop messing with you. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. If you take your tally, that's what I did today so far. <laughs> <laughs> I've been what what time did I start listening? I think I woke back up. Yeah, like this morning I was up early for for no reason. I was up like two thirty in the morning. And I was watching something. Um I was watching something on Cinemax. And I had the earbud in the other ear. So I I mean it's just a habit anyway. Um Adele starts tomorrow, three oh one to freedom. Oh Trace, you said three? Nope. <laughs> Double that. Yeah, the one a day is hard. Though see, see, there's levels to it. There's levels to it. I'm always gonna and y'all know that this y'all know this about me. I'm always gonna push you to always push your limit. Um some people ain't even doing one a day. Which is ridiculous. Like, like even on trainings, when we do live training, you'll hear me say, listen, you need to watch 301 at least once a day. At least. So just the fact that you're doing that, you're creating the habit. You can't elevate a habit that you ain't create. So one a day is the habit. Right? There will come a time where you'll elevate that and it will, it will progress. It'll do that also organically. You're not going to have to try to force that. You understand what I'm saying? Because you're already used to doing it through one a day. One a day is the seed. So that's that's where it starts. Um, Torre said three times a day. Um, JT, you still do 24-hour loop of training? I ain't going to front. I do. I do. The only time that, like right now, the only time that I'm not listening to anything is when I'm either doing a recap or the YouTube live. All other times throughout the day, I'm on 301. And I might, I might, you know, add something else into the mix. But that's ill that you remember that I said that about the 24 hours, like how I go to bed with it and all that. When I wake up, it's playing in my ear, you know, but I'm, I, I, I'm obsessive and I know that I'm doing that. It's not like I'm just doing that just to do it. I'm intentionally doing that. So you got to be intentional with whatever you're doing. Just like if you if you know that you're going to just commit to doing one a day, one a day. That's how you move. That's how you move. That's how you start. Um, to a rate minimum of three times a day. Rich said you should be sleeping with it on. That's a given. Then you have to make a choice to find a way to incorporate it into your actual day. Exactly. Exactly. And you do that. Uh, Matthew said, I'm only at four today. <laughs> Rich said, 301 on the rocks for me now. <laughs> Come on, man. See, so so that's what that's what the the whole idea really is based upon. Is creating the habit. And as you develop the habit, then the elevation comes after you create the habit. Because now you don't have to try to create the, the habit. You understand what I'm saying? It's like how first nature becomes second nature. Like we had, we was talking about this last week. 
What's first nature for you? What's your habit? When 301 becomes your habit, that's your one a day. That's how it starts. You do it, you do it every day, right? 301 at least once a day. As it's shifting, as it shifts into second nature, you do it and then you do it again. And then you keep you like you keep doing it again because it's automatic for you to do it. So your habit becomes 301 a day, once a day. And then when it becomes second nature, it elevates. Does that make sense? This is ha this is what happens with everything that you do. Your your whole skill set works like this. This is how patience works. People don't realize like patience is a habit. Discipline is a habit. That you don't just snap your fingers and you just patient all of a sudden. You got to work at becoming patient, but it's like, well, how, well, where do you start? I guarantee you, if you do 301 every day, it's going to elevate your patience. I guarantee you. And you'll be able to prove it to yourself by just looking at how patient you are in regular life. Think about it. Just start looking at how you move like, damn. Normally, I would kind of be a little. Little rush, rush with that shit. I actually slowed it down. That didn't even bother me that much. Because your patience is increasing And you need that See like patience and discipline are mandatory things To function within the, the, the realm of the market They're not optional things You ain't got no patience The market is kicking your ass Period Market is gonna bust that ass If you ain't got no patience <laughs> So it's an inherent part of the skill set that we have You, you gotta develop the patience so it's like, well, how do we do that? 301. You do 301 every day, you already created the habit. Patience is built into 301, so is discipline. So now you're doing one activity that's elevating your patience, your discipline, and it's elevating your skill set within the market itself. Because you're developing the patience that you need to wait for the market to present you with everything that we wait for. See how it all ties in together? It's like it's like taking a pill. It's one pill, it's a multivitamin. Ooh, come on, man. 301 is the multivitamin? All right. <laughs> um, JT said, yeah, I got my 24 hour loot bag too, cool. Tori, <laughs> Tori said, I take a 301 on the rocks as well. Jay said he had three three times today. Come on, man. Come on. And and like, see, this is what I mean about second nature. I start feeling funny when I'm not hearing 301. Like if I if I'm just somewhere doing something, if I don't got an earbud and I already feel funny. I feel awkward because I'm not I don't have the earbud. I'm like, wait, where's my earbud? And I'll immediately be like, all right, let me get my earbuds and at least put one in. I'll put one in and then I'll have my other ear for Lulu. So I can at least hear what she's talking about. But other than that, 301 is just on all day. So that level is a level that you organically get to. The same way that everything else within your skill set elevates. It does the same shit. It's the same way how you become so much better at observation. Like use this week as a good example and as a good guide for how people have elevated. Walker, when he came on, he said, no MRMHs this week, no follow throughs. Huh? Now mind you, this is Walker saying that, right? If you, it, like go back three weeks ago and look at how Walker was moving with the videos that he was posting up in the group. You didn't really see him do that this week, why not? Because the market wasn't giving up MRMH on the pound like that this week. So what actually happened? Like what actually happened? Did Walker do something different? Did the market do something different? Or is Walker doing what he's supposed to do? And he was right in line with what the market was doing.
which is why he didn't see MR Major all week. Same reason that most of you didn't. You see, you like you understand what I'm saying? This is how the skill set gets into you and you elevate. Now, like I said, when you go back three weeks ago, he posting up videos and we look and we like, nah, that ain't it. Even he looking back at the video, he's like, oh, yeah, but well, let me look at this one again. All right, never mind. This was a couple of weeks ago where he, he'll send me a video and he'll just never mind it. Be like, nah, never mind. Disregard that one. Nope, no, nope, nope. Disregard that one. He was working through everything that he needed to work through. This is what I'm talking about, how the skill creeps up on you. You know we do 301. If you keep doing it, it's going to push you through. This is what I'm saying. It doesn't matter how thick the wall is for whatever is in your way. The repetition, the habit that you created is going to push you through all of your bullshit. <laughs> it doesn't matter who you are and it doesn't matter how thick the wall is. You're going to break through that shit, period. And I love using these examples because like I follow along with everybody, with, with how everybody's moving. So I remember shit. And I know that some of y'all even know what I'm talking about. Like you, you see how, if you just take this week as an example, how many videos did Walker paste, um, post this week in the group? How many? Not a lot, right? There's a reason for that. There's a reason he ain't posts a lot of videos. He's posting less because he only wants to post the MRMHs. So if you're posting less, one of two things is happening. Either you're not catching them or they're not there. So which one is it? Other, other people in the group verified, nah, they wasn't there like that this week. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> And that's how we keep moving. That's why this shit is so crazy. And that's why collectively as a group, we're going to elevate all the time because it starts from one little thing and it just continues to grow from there. So it doesn't matter what's holding you back at the time. You're going to break through that. And then as soon as you break through that, you move up to the next level and then you stay there until you move up to the next level. Just like I said earlier, you, you're not stepping up and then stepping back. No backstepping, no half stepping either. You're taking a full step. And when you take that full step, you remain there until it's time to move to the next step. What's keeping you there? 301, man. Telling you. Telling you. Oh, it just, it's, it's just on so many levels. Like, it's on so many levels. <laughs> Shit is crazy. Rich said, if you miss something, you better be sure you will be reminded with the family support. Bingo. Bingo. See, that's exactly how Walker got through. That's how he did it. And I'm saying did it like I, I'm, I'm referring to the stuff that he was doing as past tense because he's proving that he's not doing that anymore. This this week was a perfect example of that. You ain't see a lot of videos. I'm telling you, like if you just if you pay attention to, to just little stuff that I'm pointing out, you'll you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. Like I got the eagle eye view, so I'm looking in, in a you know from a certain perspective, but I see it like clearly. I can see what's going on, and and and, and all I know is that the answer is three hundred one over P. Like that's like, that's how you get through whatever it is that you're going through. Period. Um, Adele says, seeing everyone's growth and elevation is amazing. It is. 
It is because you and, and another thing too is like you remember what they were doing before. So you know like, oh shit, he finally got through that. That's powerful, man. Yup, Rich said you can feel the growth. It's so powerful. It is. It is. And it's amazing because you know that it's not just you growing. That's how I feel all the time. Cause it's it, you know, it's it's a collective in the group. It's like, damn, it could be anybody out of like out of nowhere. It could be any one of you in the group that get that light bulb and it just pops on like it was Paleus today. When you like when you go back, if you watch the replay of this, listen to what Paleus said earlier in the beginning of this recap. The elevation is retarded. Crazy, man. That shit is just crazy. <laughs> so that's how I'll be keeping track. That's how I keep track. Yep, amazing stuff. All right, y'all, let me get up out of here, man. So listen, I will um, see y'all on training tomorrow. Um, who was it that I needed to finish? Oh, Ralston. Ralston, I didn't forget about you. I'm going to get you um, all situated. All right, and I will see you guys manana. And also in the group chat, of course, as usual. So back to 301 we go. All right, y'all. I'm out. You'll be safe out here. Peace.